Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a little bit different, but kind of similar in a way, because take a look at this. It looks like I'm on my Steam Deck, Steam OS, desktop mode, right? But actually I'm on my Lenovo Legion Go, and I've installed an operating system called Bazite. I think that's how you pronounce it, Bazite. Okay, it's a little bit different to Steam OS, but very similar. Okay, if you go here, look at this. This is the like console, but it's called Terminal now. Okay, and like the like, it feels like the Steam Deck, Steam OS experience, but you get better hardware. So kind of like a Steam Deck Pro. Okay, that's the main reason why I installed this onto the Lenovo Legion Go. It's because like the Windows, it's not really good for gaming. Like it takes up too much resources. It has a lot of bloatware, and your games don't run at full potential. Okay, so let's go to gaming mode and let's prove that. I'm going to test out the game called. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom through Switch emulation. This one's a hard one because I've actually done best setting guides, tutorials on how to set up this game on Steam Deck, Steam OS, and also on the Legion Go Windows. And like we did a lot of tweaking on the emulator, adding performance mods, stuff like that. Even after all that, like it doesn't run that good. So let's see. This is really easy to see if it performs better because I remember on the Steam Deck. After all the tweaking, we got like 30-ish frames, like mid to low 30s, and it dips into the 20s when you go into the villages and stuff like that. And for the Legion Go on Windows, it was better, but only slightly. And that was like something that amazed me because like the Legion Go has so much more power hardware-wise, but like it doesn't perform that much better than the Steam Deck for this game. Yeah, let's go to the Great Sky Island. So for the Legion Go Windows, we get like 40-ish frames, 30-ish 40, and then it also dips into the 20s in hard areas. Okay. And I also got gyro working for this game like with this setup. So that's something important. This game really needs gyro. So let's go to settings, go to emulation, configure, um, controls. See this cube here on the controller? If I move my... Legion Go, you can see the gyro is working. That's something you really need for this game. Okay, so maybe I'll leave it on windowed mode because uh, down at the bottom right, you can see when the shaders are building because I haven't played this game on like this setup. I've just installed Bazite. I haven't really played much of it. So you'll know when the shaders are building and it might like stutter a little bit. See that, like it's building shaders. Okay, but immediately we're getting way better performance. Like I've never seen 50, 60 uh, on, for this game on the Steam Deck or on the Legion Go Windows mode. So in the Sky Island, definitely a lot better. We're getting 40-ish now. But yeah, still way better. Way better performance. Okay, I need a sword. I need a shield and a bow. Okay, I think we should go to Hyrule. Find a place to jump down. Okay, so we get 40 ish here. So I've got the frame rate counter at the left hand side. See where it says game scope? Yeah, that's the, the FPS. And I also got the frame time. So the frame time's like below 20, which is pretty good. All right, let's jump. All right, we get 60 frames here. Not bad. All right, should we dive into the depths? Yeah, I think we should. All right, let's put on my diving suit. Let's dive directly into the... Alright, let's go back to full screen mode now, because I think you understand what I mean by when it needs to build shaders. Okay, I need to change my shield, my weapon. Okay, the bow's good. Alright, let's dive into the depths. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. Had a little bit of stutter there, but that happens on the switch as well so 
Okay, so we're in the depths right now. Okay, let's turn on our our companions. Always forget about that. Okay. So the depths normally run pretty well. Even on the Steam Deck, we get 40-ish. Getting like 50 here. Okay, so there's some people to fight here. Oops. Yeah, I don't think I'm powerful enough. All right, let's not fight. Let's go somewhere else. Let's go to Lookout Landing. I think that's a place where a lot of people want to test out. So I'm also thinking about um, making a tutorial guide how to install Bazite onto the Legion Go. It's a dual boot setup, so you can actually boot into Windows. And I made a separate partition. Okay, there's a little bit of glitching here. So normally we get like 30 frames. We get a little bit more here. We get 40-ish. So last time when I tried this game here with the Lenovo Legion Go on Windows, I get like 30 frames, low 30s. Um, why is there so many lightning? So definitely an improvement. I think like around 20 to 30% improvement. And it feels so much smoother, less stuttering. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. I think this is the best experience so far. Other than playing the original stuff on the Nintendo Switch, really. I think this is the best handheld emulation experience for this game right now that I've played so far. Okay, let's go to the hardest part of the game to load, which is the Fire Temple. There's so much stutter on the Steam Deck and on the Legion Go Windows mode. It's really hard to play here. Let's try it out. So yeah, if you want me to make a tutorial on how to install this operating system on the Legion Go, please let me know in the comment section. It's going to be a hard one because um, there's a lot of, like, you need to reboot the system a lot and um, we need to go into the BIOS. All that, you can't get that captured on the capture card. So I need to film the console, like the, the Legion Go. So the setup is different. And it's going to take a long time as well. But it's this installation process, I think, it took me like a little bit over an hour to do. So if I have to film it and then edit, yeah, it's going to take some time. It feels really, really good. Like if you watch my other video, <laughs> it was stuttering a lot. But now it's, it's smooth. There's no stutter. I'm surprised. I'm surprised, really. This is the hardest place to run for the whole game. And there's no stuttering. Oh my god. Oops. Oh, there is a little bit of stutter there. Yeah, here's where I want to go. Okay, there's a little bit of stutter here. But not compared to the Windows one. Oops, I missed. Okay. Shot it with an arrow. So yeah, I think uh, 
that's enough going off. Um, let's go back with the game. Here's the gaming mode. Um, and then you've also got the deck loader and stuff like that. Um, how can I show you? See that? Let me move my camera a bit. So you've got this Legion Go remapper, it handles the fan control, RGB, stuff like that. Um, this lets you emulate the controls. So you've got Xbox control, you've got the PlayStation controls. I use Dual Sense because it has the gyro. Um, yeah, all this. So these are all different stuff. I haven't really like used this operating system long enough. I'll probably test it out more. Um, and then let you guys know how it performs. What are the issues? I'm pretty sure there's some issues. It's not gonna it, like it's not gonna be hundred percent perfect. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll leave it here. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, hit the thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.